Hey guys and welcome back to my channel, welcome to In The Luxe Wellness. If you are new here, please do subscribe if you are into anything wellness, diet, exercise, trends, all of that sort of stuff. I hope you're all having a great week. Today's video I'm going to be doing a Gusto review, which is a video that I've been meaning to do forever. I just want to keep it nice, short and simple because I think there's a lot of information to give you, but also I just want to keep it quick and digestible. The other thing as well I wanted to mention is this video is not sponsored whatsoever. I have been subscribed to Gusto now for like a year and a half, at least, and I've been having a box delivered most weeks for literally a year and a half, so I feel I've definitely earned earned my rights to give you a full and thorough review. So I'm gonna break it down into three sections. The first one, I'm just gonna say how it all works. Second one, I'm gonna talk about the pros. And the third, I'm gonna just talk about the cons, just so you kind of get an idea and see if it is something you wanna try. Just how it works, you're probably familiar with food boxes, HelloFresh, Gusto, there's quite a few out there. The way that it works is it costs anywhere from 30 to 45 quid a week, depending on how many people you have in your family and how many meals you want. For me, it's just two of us, so I get a box for two people and we get four meals a week. I think that is the maximum you can have on Gusto and it works really well to have four meals a week. And then what you do every week is you choose your recipes that you wanna have in the box for the next week it gets delivered on your specific day so I always get my box delivered on a Sunday because the likelihood is is that we're going to be around on a Sunday and then we've got all the meals for the week so for me it costs 35 pounds a week they have loads of different kinds of meals on there so if you're vegan gluten free dairy free you want to keep low calorie they've got loads of dietary requirements on there but let's just roll into it that's how it all works I thought I'd just kick off now with the pros my first kind of pro with Gusto is that it's just so convenient. I got myself into a real tailspin trying to plan exciting and healthy meals for the week ahead and then work out when to do the shop, how much to buy. You're always left with loads of leftovers, I think. Whereas with Gusto, everything comes pre-portioned. So if you need oregano for a recipe, you're gonna get just a small amount of oregano for that particular recipe. So it avoids having to go out and buy spices that you might not use and then they're gonna go off stops me from having to go into the shops. And that brings me on to the next point, which is saving money. So 35 pounds a week for us is so much less than I would be spending if I was buying four meals a week and going into the shops to buy the food. Because what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go into the shops and I'm just probably gonna go overboard and spend like 20 pounds on stuff that I know I'm not gonna use. The other amazing thing about Gusto is that there's not really much food waste and there's not really much plastic waste. So you know how if you were gonna buy chicken breast in Tesco's, you would get like a plastic container. Well with Gusto, they give you a plastic um, kind of sealed baggie. So you don't have those big kind of hard plastic containers building up from all of your meals during the week. It's nice and neat, not too much plastic waste, definitely not any food waste. The only food waste that you might have is if you were cutting up vegetables, the stalks from the vegetables, and if say you used an egg, obviously the shell from the egg, but really that's it. Another thing that I love about Gusto is it's just delicious. I mean, I reckon out of all the meals that we've tried, and there are a hell of a lot of meals, out of 10 meals that we try, eight to nine of them we finish and we say that was delicious so the food is so good it's so many different flavors different herbs different spices different vegetables things that you would never typically probably try before and i'm i'm somebody that likes to have different kinds of food every night i couldn't really have the same thing every night so it really tingles your taste buds but the other thing is is that you can also still repeat meals that you love so they do have their signature meals that people always love on gusto that you can order every week if you want to they have about I would say 30 different recipes that you can pick from each week. Um, so there's a really nice selection. And you could equally, because they always post new recipes on Gusto, try a different meal four nights a week every time on Gusto. 
Okay, so now I'm just gonna quickly talk about the cons. I don't have too many cons, so I do just love it. And I really do intend to continue with Gisto subscription. Sometimes I find the meat can have a little bit of a shorter shelf life. And I'm really bad at freezing because um, I'll put it in the freezer and then remember about an hour before I need to cook the meal that the meat is in the freezer. And I'm just really crap at knowing how to defrost meat and things like that. So I would love it if maybe the meat had maybe another three days. Sometimes say I have the box on a Sunday. There's some things that I've got to eat on the Tuesday or Wednesday, but I might have wanted to have it on the Friday. But it's not a big deal. I make it work. The other con is that they've got this like inside cardboard box where all of the fresh food like that needs to go in the fridge is stored it's got your cheeses and your meats and things like that sometimes that box can be really hard to dismantle it's like a really thick cardboard box and it can be a real faff when you're trying to flatten it out for the recycling but again not really a huge con and then my final con which of course i think every person that has to make themselves dinner can relate to is some nights you just really don't fancy cooking and you just want to put something in the oven like a lasagna to be honest i only have four gustos a week the other three nights i don't don't have to cook i'm ordering a takeaway or i'm having something really easy i get over it pretty quickly would be the same even if you just bought ingredients to make dinner that was kind of everything in my gusto review i hope you enjoyed it another good thing is that most of the meals are under or around about 600 calories so if you do calorie counting which is something that i'm doing at the moment it's really easy to have gusto meals and stay on a low calorie diet which is nice don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more and i will see you guys in my next video she says she don't want I bet she thinks she is Sand don't have no trust, I don't know where you